This is Daedal OS. This is a desktop environment built with web technologies to run in the web browser. And I think this is absolutely incredible. Not because I think this is something that everybody should just go out and use. This is still very much an alpha or a beta, whatever you want to call it. Also, this background is made to be incredibly resource intensive, but I think this is incredible because something like this can actually be usable and can be made to run entirely on the web. Also, don't be confused by the fact that it has OS in its name or the fact that it looks like Windows. This is not a Windows VM running inside of a web browser. There are plenty of ways to do that. For example, embedding QEMU inside of the browser, and that is the way that something like DistroTest actually lets you test out Linux distros. And likewise, it's also not a Linux distro. This isn't running a VM whatsoever. The OS in its name isn't really a good descriptor. It's much better to call this just a desktop environment. The reason for that is because the web browser itself effectively serves as the operating system for software running on top of it. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this logo sitting on the desktop right here and have been waiting for me to click it. So let's actually go and do that. Now, this isn't running like a JavaScript rewrite of Doom or anything like that. What this is actually running is a WebAssembly compatible DOS emulator and we can play this perfectly fine in our browser. It doesn't run the best like it's a little bit laggy in some cases but this is an emulator running inside of a browser inside of an operating system so you basically get what you get but the fact that it runs is honestly really really cool obviously being a desktop environment the purpose isn't just running doom there is also a file manager now i don't know why it always opens up in such a small window but it does do that and it's obviously inspired by the Windows File Manager, which does the job. It's obviously not great, but it does the job. Now, you'll notice that sometimes it's being a little bit slow. That's normal because it is having to fetch data from the, uh, the server this is actually running on. If I was running this locally, it would be considerably quicker. But what if we wanted to say write code for this project directly inside of the project itself? Well, for that, we're going to need a code editor. And luckily for us, we have Monaco editor. This might look fairly familiar. And that's because Monaco is actually the engine that powers VS Code. But obviously, we can't just write code in silence. So we need some music. And luckily, there is a web-based version of Winamp called WebAmp. And this is based on Winamp 2.9. And man, this old version of Winamp definitely brings back some memories. Now, there is a single track that exists inside of this desktop environment, but let's go and add in our own. So we click on the play button, that'll actually open up a file browser. So let's go and add in the rock version of the free software song. And that clearly is working. This is a great song, in case you haven't heard it. Uh, I use it as my stream openings. And obviously, because we're a modern developer, there is no way we can write code without having access to a web browser. And luckily, we can open a web browser inside of the web browser. Now, I've noticed that some sites aren't super happy about you actually opening them like this. Uh, they're not really sure what to do with this browser. For example, Stack Overflow won't connect. Uh, YouTube won't connect as well. And a few other of the big sites like that. But one fun thing we can do is... Uh, open up Daedal OS inside of Daedal OS, and that's also perfectly fine. And then when you're done with work for the day, you probably want to go and play a game. Now, I didn't know this existed until a couple of days ago, but there is actually a WebAssembly version of Wine. The way it works is it bundles Wine with a little Linux kernel, so it actually has something to, you know, do the Wine calls to. And what this means is we can go and play Space Cadet pinball which is something that i played a lot as a kid um it's not perfect the game runs perfectly the problem is when we close it um sometimes that happens and the music doesn't stop the only way to fix that is just refreshing the page but hey speaking of linux maybe you actually want to go and run it and luckily there is a WebAssembly compatible x86 emulator so we can just go and run linux if we want to uh this does take just a moment to launch sometimes longer than others, uh, I'll cut back to when it's done. Literally, the second I stopped recording, it actually uh, finished. So yeah, this is this is Linux. We can do Linuxy things. Whatever it is you want to do. Whatever you do in Linux, I guess. 
and there are so many other little applications we can talk about, whether that is like the terminal that's available. So if you want to do like terminally things, the image viewer, the PDF viewer, uh, whether you want to go and like access the emulators directly and then say use virtual x86 and then run Arch Linux inside of your web browser. That's all things you can actually do. Now, while putting all of this stuff together is absolutely incredible, the developer isn't pretending like they actually made each of the individual components. So all of this stuff is actually listed on the GitHub. So if you want to go and check out any of the individual projects, whether that be like Boxed Wine, JS DOS, uh, Xterm JS, which is the terminal that's being used, and all of the other fun stuff there, this is the place to actually go. Now, I don't want to take away from what the developer has actually done. They've actually got a massive stream series where they covered actually developing this. But what this project is, is effectively taking these components, making a Windows-like theme, an animated wallpaper that is way, way too taxing on any one system, and then gluing it together in a coherent way that actually makes sense as a desktop environment. Now, this is just a hobby or proof of concept project, whatever you want to call it, but it does get me thinking about the future of computing. With how much is possible in the web, I could see Google, Amazon, Facebook, or some other big web company actually making something like this and sort of pushing this as their operating system sort of thing, basically taking Chrome OS to its logical conclusion. Rather than having everything centered around the Chrome browser, literally have everything in it. Have like the absolute bare minimum core to run Chrome and then never let the user actually leave that. Unlike the way that Chrome OS is nowadays, which is effectively just, you know, desktop Android, which also happens to run a lot of web apps as well. By actually having an operating system like this or operating system like this in your browser, it would make it very easy to get people to actually try it out. You could say, hey, you can just use this with your existing system. You just pay us this subscription fee and we'll manage the rest. That seems like a pretty solid business model to me. Now, don't take that as me saying that I want this future. I like the idea of performance software that isn't running in 10 layers of containerization, but... I do think that it is a compelling idea to some companies that already are in that space. Now, if you want to try this out for yourself, it is currently hosted on DustinBrett.com, who is the developer of the application. This is the way that we've actually been testing it throughout this video. It works perfectly fine, but if you want it to be more performant, I'd recommend running it locally and doing so you can get it from the GitHub is pretty straightforward. There's only like a couple of commands you need to do and you'll be good to go. Now, just the fact that this exists is going to annoy someone. And you know what? I would be lying if I said that wasn't part of the reason that I wanted to make this video. But for everybody else, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If this was like completely fleshed out and wasn't just being made by a single dude, is this something you would actually ever consider using? Or do you like your regular, you know, desktop environments that run on the desktop? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon subscribers. You're going to pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea, where I think I talked about this last week. And a gaming channel. Yes, that one. Called Brody Robinson Plays, where I know I talked about this. And that's going to be it for me. So, I'm out.